The Matrix is one of the most groundbreaking films in the history of cinema with its great visual effects and story. It created a new standard for action films and philosophies. Released 20 years ago, many still theorize its story due to the many unanswered questions. With this new film and the return of Neo and Trinity, this seems to confirm one of the most shocking theories of this saga. That the supposed real world depicted in this franchise, the world in which our heroes wake up to, is just another layer within the Matrix. That the prophecy of the Chosen One is nothing more than a great fabrication of the architect designed to give false hope to the humans so that they can never wake up. The desert of the real. The story of the Matrix shows us four versions of reality. The first is the Matrix, the program where everyone is connected. This reality is the one where much of the movie takes place, one that is monitored by the agents and hacked by Morpheus and his companions. This reality can be manipulated by anyone. Even the Chosen One develops certain skills that enables him to see the code and hack it in real time modifying the code and adapting it for himself. It was for this reason that Neo saw the Matrix just before acquiring his powers. Remember this, because it will be very important for this theory. The second version of reality is the one that Morpheus shows Neo, an imitation of the Matrix that they created for training purposes. This version of reality is much more limited, but serves its purpose as a training ground. This simulation can be molded by a user, the third is the supposed real world, a place where machines have enslaved humanity, where those who manages to wake up and be rescued by the resistance, or die and be recycled by the machines to become nutrients for the other imprisoned humans. It is a version of reality where Zion exists, the last bastion of human freedom, and is the one considered by all to be real. The fourth reality is one that lies between the Matrix and the real world. A place that masks itself as a train station where Neo accesses after being in a coma. This is the reality between realities. The greatest secret of the Matrix is that these four worlds are nothing more than layers within the same program. All humans are asleep, including Morpheus, Trinity, and the thousands of people in Zion. This reality that we know as planet Earth is just another layer of the Matrix created to manipulate humans and make them believe that they have managed to be free. A false awakening from which they can never escape. How do we know this to be true? Are there any clues? First thing to note is that Neo is able to access the Matrix without the need of any cables or computers. Managing to enter the fourth world between the Matrix and the supposed real world. This shows that there is something connecting these two worlds that goes far beyond a simple internet connection. Maybe Neo has technology embedded in his head. Maybe that's how he can connect wirelessly. This would be a logical explanation if we didn't already see Neo using his powers in the apparent real world. In the Matrix Revolutions, Neo loses his vision, but he somehow can see the sentries approaching his ship. This is very similar to the first Matrix when Neo after he apparently died and revived, could see the Matrix code, thus granting him the means to destroy the agents. So after losing his vision in the third film, he was still able to see the sentries, exhibiting supernatural powers in the real world. It is no longer about Neo having powers within the simulation. Neo had developed powers beyond the first version of reality, which could be used to prove that the third reality, the real world, is equally false. It is just another part of the Matrix where a Chosen One can modify its code. There are other clues that points to this. For example, when Neo meets the Oracle. There, he meets a boy who gives him a bending spoon, letting him understand that what is reality is not real. This same boy usually interferes with the lives of those who are about to wake up, or those who don't understand what the Matrix is. But the strange thing about all of this is that he sends his spoon to Neo at the city of Zion, the supposed real world, as if trying to remind him that everything is fake. Another point is that Agent Smith is capable of possessing humans who have been awakened. He managed to infect the mind of a Zion citizen, just like in the program, 
Smith also has powers in the real world. Remember that the architect mentioned that he had destroyed Zion several times before, and then the Matrix restarts. That the machines are responsible not only for the destruction of the city, but also for the creation of each new cycle. This is known as controlled opposition. Smith mentions in the first movie that the machines created a paradise, a perfect version of the Matrix for the humans, yet many rejected the program. The humans need conflict, they need struggle, the need to escape, the need of a savior. According to the architect, Neo is an anomaly in the code, something difficult to erase, but predictable. The machines created all this story of Zion, the real world, and the chosen one to keep the humans occupied. The Matrix may have more versions. Maybe the real world is different than we thought. This brings us to the fourth Matrix film and the return of Neo and Trinity. In the Matrix Revolutions, Trinity dies after the Sentinel attack on their ship. Then Neo dies after merging with Agent Smith and becoming one with the Matrix. However, both characters are to return in the next film. Does this mean that both are still alive? Captured by the machines? Maybe the machines erased their memories and now are a part of the new cycle of the Matrix. Or maybe we'll see new versions of Neo and Trinity. Not even death is an obstacle for the machines. If this theory is true, Neo and Trinity never really died. Their codes were just reabsorbed and reused. There are theories that proposes that both Neo and Trinity are codes in the Matrix, created to make humans believe that they have found their savior and that they will soon be freed. Neo and Agent Smith, despite being opposites, they are quite similar. Neo is also able to possess others by modifying the Matrix code, besides the fact that he also has powers in the supposed real world. Maybe the truth was always under our noses. Neo was never a human. He is a Matrix program created to continue a facade, events that made the humans believe that they have found their savior, but was just another program, a false reality within another false reality. When Neo confronts the Architect, the Architect lets him know that he has dealt with his predecessors, the other Chosen Ones. Within the Architect's chamber, there are many TV screens of different Neos talking simultaneously. Surely those that we see on the screens are the previous Chosen Ones. So Neo is just a mold, an inevitable result. And let's not forget the most important thing. The Chosen One is a mathematical result of the Matrix. A foreseeable failure, an error in the code. Neo is not a human, nor is he the savior of the humans. He has always been able to modify the Matrix because he has always been a part of it. Neo is the Chosen One, but chosen by the Architect. He is the biggest lie created to keep humans suppressed and unable to wake up. Just another part of the Matrix program. In the beginning of the first movie, there is an error code on Neo's computer. After looking back at these movies, it all makes sense. That's why he was better than the agents, and why he was able to manipulate the Matrix and have powers in the real world. Neo is the biggest lie created by the machines. The Oracle once told Morpheus that he would find the Chosen One. She is the mother of the Matrix. The whole story of the Chosen One was prophesized by the Oracle, that is, by the machines. So then what is the real world? Is it controlled by the machines? Could there be something else hidden behind the Matrix? and all of its lies and deceptions? Is the real world of Zion nothing more than another layer of the Matrix? Could Neo be a program created to maintain control over the humans who manages to escape from the first layer of reality? For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.